Honey, yeah. why is the toilet smoking? procrastinated and now I have to pack my whole kitchen in like one minute I mean one hour but it feels like one minute hopefully my ancestors can help me sold our chairs so I like literally can't reach I can't reach up there. Oh I know. This is the voiceover part where I share with you all of my intimate thoughts on saying goodbye to my apartment, my things, and life as I know it. Or how about we just watch this world-class athlete summit that countertop? That one time she went rock climbing is paying off, folks. Look at that form, that balance. And kids, don't try this at home because clearly she is a professional and she will not leave her Kirkland toilet paper behind. It might have been premature, but we had sold all of our furniture so I had no choice but to raccoon my way into my own cupboards. So much crap. We had way more boxes than we thought we would, but still, two guitars, Two fiddle leaf figs, James and I, and our imaginary pet frog all made it to San Diego safely. Here I am, you know, after 29 years of being short, I've become fluent at using things as arm extensions, and here I am just risking potentially face planting into the floor just to, you know. Now that I'm rewatching this footage, I'm just gonna cherish every ply of that toilet paper. <laughs>
Here's our last supper. Leftovers on paper plates by candlelight. Mmm, new band name. Here's a riddle for ya. What do you do when you want to take your mattress to the free recyclery? Is that a word? Anyway, you want to take your mattress to the recycling place, but you don't have a truck. On the other hand, you could just drag down your mattress to the dumpster, but then there's a disposal fee of $100, and you'd really rather spend that on hot Cheetos con limon for your loved ones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Answer? You brutally hack apart your mattress and then stuff its remains into unmarked garbage bags and then throw them down the chute one by one like a serial killer. But you're not serial killers. You're mattress murderers, sleep slayers, bedtime butchers. Okay, so many good band names. By the way, we didn't want to donate the mattress because it had mold on it. So long, Sacramento. You've been good to me. I followed my heart here. I cut my teeth here. Some of my best friends, the smartest as well as wisest people I know are here, and I've done my best to soak up their passion and create political progress along the way. So long, apartment. Almost every single thing. It was the perfect home, filled not with things, but with love. If you've been here, I love you. If you've slept here, I hate you. Just kidding. But most of all, I think I'll miss my across the hallway neighbors and their dog, Maya. She's the cutest pup in all of Sacramento, as well as the Milky Way galaxy. Hey, San Diego. So what's next? Thank you.